Hi guys, this is Eric Sloof over at Antipro.nl and in this video I'm going to, going to show you a real cool feature regarding vRealize Automation 7 in combination with vRealize Orchestrator. So here's the deal. When I go to my design, I have created a blueprint and this blueprint is configured with a custom property. This custom property uh, is created on the virtual machine, so I dragged and dropped a vSphere virtual machine to the canvas and when I go to the properties tab right here you can see that I've created a custom property called test. These custom properties can be used to change settings in virtual machines or they can be used to add a CMDB number or something else to the machine so they live as long as the machine is active they can be overridden by uh, higher objects but in this case I have a custom property on this virtual machine it's called test. So if you want to influence the behavior or, or the value of a custom property, you can use the property dictionary. So when I go to the administration part of vRealize Automation 7, there is a special section in this uh, administration part called the property dictionary. It's With 19 hours. Within, within the property dictionary, I have the property definitions, and those property definitions can be used to alter the look or the value of your custom property. So let's jump into this custom property test, and let's see what I did. So I provided a label, so you can step away from the custom property um, name and give it a, a readable label. I've provided a description, I've configured the custom property with a string type, it's required and this is the cool part, external values are allowed within vRealize Automation 7. When you create an external value you can select an orchestrator action and you can bind it to a custom property. So in this case, I've selected get default test. And this orchestrator action uh, is uh, returning an array, an array of strings. And the array of strings must be filled with all the data stores in my environment. So let's take a look at that script, guys. So when I go to the orchestrator right here, and I go to the get default test uh, action, then what I did is that I defined the data store variable. This is the array I want to fill with all the available data stores. I have data stores, which is uh, another action, because this action is nested, get all data stores of my vCenter environment. I'm going to check the length of the list with all the data stores. Then I put my counter at zero, and I'm going to loop with a while command through this list and add the data store name, the data store I name, to my variable the data store. And when I'm through the list, plus plus, then eventually the number of data stores is, is, is ending, and then I'm returning the result to vRealize Automation 7. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if it actually works. So what I do is go to the catalog, and within the catalog I'm going to request a machine based on the blueprint I showed you earlier. And when requesting this machine, uh, pops up, then I can put in the description the reason for the request, the number of deployments. As soon as I select the virtual machine, you will see that the test is active. When I click this drop down list, you can actually see a complete list with data stores coming from vCenter. This also is very nice if you want to select port groups for networking. Uh, let's actually see if those data stores are available. So let's jump back to the web client. And in the web client, uh, I've selected my host. I went to the related objects and to the data store. And actually, those data stores are right here for all the hosts. So this allows you to include information, dynamic information, on the fly while deploying a virtual machine and configure things like port groups or data centers or clusters or data stores, whatever. If I submit this request, then the request is submitted and I'm going to my requests and I can see that the deployment is in progress. I'm running out of resources, so that's the, why the last test failed, but don't worry. I will uh, destroy some, some objects in my environment and make some more space. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Stay tuned at antipro.nl and behave. Have fun.